Hey, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky here with another tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at adding a shadow to a product shot. So as you'll see here, I've got my product shot. It's on a white background and it doesn't have any kind of shadow to show that it's on a surface. So it looks a little bit flat and a bit fake at the moment, but we're gonna add a shadow and we're gonna change that. So hopefully you've got your product as well. And if you go over here to the layers palette, Let's just call that shoe. So in between the background layer and the shoe layer, we're just going to create a new layer. And we're gonna select black as our foreground color. Make sure we've got the brush tool selected with a nice feathered brush. So bring the hardness right down to zero. And remember you can use the square brackets to make the brush size smaller or larger. That's a really handy shortcut to know. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the ellipse marquee tool up here and just draw a shape that looks something like this. And then with the fill tool, we'll just fill that with black. So let's position that first. So we can see here that the light's hitting the shoe on this side, so it's going to be casting a shadow somewhere around here. So something like that. So we're gonna start by bringing the opacity down a little bit. We will adjust this later on. We'll call this shadow. And then what we can do now is we can apply a mask to this layer. So you can click this button down here, add layer mask. And now with black selected and the mask selected here in the layers palette, we can now just gently brush into this so this top edge of the shadow is going to be a lot fainter, whereas the shadow that is closer to the shoe around here is going to be a lot darker. And the further out away from the shoe the shadow is, the fainter it's going to be. So you just want to gently just brush into that so you get something that looks like this. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. The best thing about using a mask rather than the eraser tool is that you can press X on the keyboard and you'll see that it flips the background and the foreground color around. And while painting black on a mask paints into it, painting white paints it back in. So this is really good because you can kind of brush into it a little bit. You can flip, brush a bit out if you make a mistake. Whereas the eraser tool is a little bit more permanent. So this gives you a lot more flexibility. Okay, so something that looks like that, that's okay for now. Then we're going to just make sure we've got our layer selected rather than the mask here. And with the layer selected, we're going to go up to filter, down to blur and Gaussian or Gaussian blur, however you say it, Gaussian blur. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that one. And then we're just going to apply a bit of blur to this. Not too much. Now to start with, what we're going to do is apply the minimum amount of blur that we're going to need. So that's going to be anything around close to the shoe. And as you move away from the shoe, it's gonna get fainter, but it's also gonna get more blurred. So we want the minimum blur around the shoe. And the reason we set the minimum blur that we're gonna be using is because when we click OK, we can then select the blur tool, make sure our strength is 100%, and we're gonna manually just blur the edge a bit more. So keep applying blur until you've got something that looks like that. And then you can start to bring the opacity down a bit more if you need to. What we can do is go back to the mask and with our brush tool selected, just paint into it a bit more. And then what we can do is actually create a new layer and we'll call this shadow two. And with black selected, we're gonna just add a bit more darkness around here just closer to the shoe. And then bring that opacity down just to get it right. So closer to the shoe, the shadow is darker and the further you move away, the lighter it gets. I'm just gonna lighten this a bit more. I think that needs probably a bit more blur as well. And then I'm gonna create another layer. I'm gonna call this shadow three. 
And again, using the ellipse tool, I'm just going to fill that. And this is going to be for this bottom part here, just to finish off. So I'm going to go up to filter, down to blur, Gaussian blur, and apply some of that. Then bring the opacity down. And it's just a case of just, just tinkering with all the different shadow layers just till you get something that looks right. Add another mask to that. And we're just gonna paint in, just soften that edge a little bit. And you can keep adjusting this as you need to till you get something that looks believable. The idea of this is to make sure that it doesn't look like a fake photoshopped shadow. And then one last thing we're going to do in this example is just hold command on the Mac or control on the PC to get this icon up and then click our shoe layer. We'll make a new layer above that and with black selected as the foreground colour and the brush tool we're just going to gently paint in the edge here just so there's a bit more shadow. And bring the opacity down a touch. And you can add, if you like, a tiny, tiny bit of blur to this, just so it doesn't look perfectly clean cut. So adding that shadow just makes it look that little bit more believable. And that's how you add a shadow to a product shot in Adobe Photoshop. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, share and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.